mean people had gotten hold of it. They threatened my life, and practically every day of my life they threatened. And the church, we had a hard time. We have 700 in Sunday school. One Sunday have 710, next Sunday 715, next Sunday 703. We couldn't get out of 700. <coughs> I used to drive by the Christian Fellowship Church over here, and I used to see, they used to have their Sunday school attendance outside on the marker outside. They used to say, Sunday school attendance 1,002 last Sunday. I wanted to bomb the sign. We couldn't get out of the 700 to save our life. We quit not the biggest Sunday school in Hammond. And I'd, I'd see Bob Murphy, a good man, a fine man, a friend of mine. I'd see him on the street, and I'd make like I was mad at him because he ran more in Sunday school than we did, and so forth. See, I couldn't get stuck, unstuck, but thank God the old church got up again. And it seemed like we got on our feet, just on our feet, and finally built this building we needed so badly. We built this building. And then three months after we dedicated it, three months to the day, an arsonist came and struck a match and lit the, lit the fire to the building next door. There was a building over here called the Baptist Youth Center. And the building next door was our old auditorium struck them and, and burned that building and this one. And this new auditorium was full of smoke and we thought it was going to be burned. And I walked in those doors back there and you couldn't even see your hand hard in front of your face. And water was in several inches up on the new carpet. We just built the building. And the, the walls were stained with smoke. And the building we'd worked so hard to put up and we'd given our life's blood to put up. I saw them take axes and chop holes in that wall back there. And I stood here behind this pulpit and cried like a baby. And I said, Dear God, don't let this building go. The people have given their life's blood and you know it's all we have. And that next morning, next morning we met. We didn't have any nurseries. We had to have our baby beds out in the hallways. By the way, nobody complained. Charred, smoky hallways over in the building where the offices, baby beds there. We met and had a, had a piece of uh, runner, plastic runner down this hall, down this this aisle over the filthy carpet full of smoke and and our beautiful new auditorium. Three months after we dedicated it, but blessed be God, we didn't stay down. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We got up again. The devil has lost every arrow he can at our church, and he's he's emptied his quiver. I hope <laughs> he's been, and he's 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 shot every bomb, every bullet, near a bomb, and he's every weapon in his arsenal. He's pointed toward this church. But listen, listen, listen! You can't beat a man who'll get back up. You can't beat him, and you can't beat a church that'll get back up from reversals. There are many folks this morning in this room who have broken hearts. Problems, heartaches and burdens and sorrows. I know it. I told the early church this morning this. And maybe I shouldn't say it. But there's a boy in this church who's very sick. Teenage boy. One of the greatest blessings to me I know in the whole world is that boy and his parents. The other day I saw his mother out here, outside the door in the alley, and I said, I want you to know, I pray for you every day and think about you, think about the boy. I wish I could, wish I could do more of what I ought to do. The church is so big and it's all I can do to work day and night and keep the bills paid and everything going. And I have to have folks to do other things that normally a pastor would do in a smaller church. And I said, I want you to know every day of my life I think about you and pray for you and thank God for you. And she said, Pastor, you're so busy and you've got so much to do. She said, there's so many more that need your help more than we do. The well ones. You know, that kind of person's going to make it. Going to make it. You know the kind of guy I want to be? I want to be a getter-upper. Fall! Rise! Fall! Rise! Somebody this morning in this room has fallen into sin. Get up! Get up! Get up, young lady! Get up, young man! Get up, fella! Get up, woman! Get up, child! Get up, mother! Get up, father! Get up! 
The just man falleth seven times, yet riseth up again. I'm talking to some folks this morning who just about let discouragement get you down. Just about let it get you down. You're about to give up. <laughs> a lady in this church, young lady, came to see me. She's going to commit suicide. I always, if they want to commit suicide, I always tell them how to do it. She had slit her wrist, and I said, look, more people who try to slit their wrist to kill themselves live than die. It's a horrible way to commit suicide. I said, the best thing to do is go over here to the Chicago, the, the bridge over the, Chicago, the Skyway, and this big bridge over the Chicago River. I said, nobody's ever jumped off and lived. And I said, the best thing you do is go over there and jump off. That's, that's the surest way. She said, that's dangerous. <laughs> I want to be the kind of person that when I get discouraged, I want to get back up again. I want to be the kind of person that when I get have reversals, I want to get up again. I want to be the kind of person that when I slip into sin, I get up again. I want to be the kind of person that when the when the failures come, I want to get up again. I want to get up again. And I want you to do the same thing. I'm talking to some college students this morning about to go home. Get back up. You say, well, I'm homesick. Get up! <laughs> I'm discouraged. Get up! I'm lonesome. Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. The kind of thing that makes man, the kind of thing that makes the class, the kind of thing that makes makes uh, power, the kind of thing that makes victory, the kind of thing that, that makes the, the battle ours. A person stumbles and falls and maybe into sin or discouragement or failure or despair or reversal. He falls, but he gets up. And he falls, but he gets up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. The just man falleth seven times, yet riseth up again. That's who wins the victory. That's who wins the victory. Get up this morning. Get up. I'm 48 years old nearly. I was, I was, I was thinking a while ago, I wonder how many times I've laughed this morning since I came to church. I was just thinking, I wonder how many times. In the first service and in Sunday school... And in this service, I wonder how many times I've laughed. And, and I wonder how many times I've laughed here and cried here at the same time. I wonder how many times. Yet the honest truth is, the preachers that laugh the most when they preach are the preachers that bear the most wounds. I don't believe in laughing in church. You cry as much as I've cried this week, and you can laugh in church. Get up. Get up. Get up! Get up! Get up! Teenager, get up! Any coward can quit. Any Benedict Arnold can, can turn. Rise up. Are you in sin this morning? Get back up. Defeated? Get back up! You fail? Sure, everybody fails. Get up! Get up. Get up. Have a reversal? Get up. Anybody can run. Anybody can run. Did you ever stop and think about this? When the Lord gave us the, 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 the armor in Ephesians, He gave us a breastplate and a helmet and a sword and a shield. Did you ever stop and think he never gave us anything for the hind side? You look carefully. He gave us something to cover our heads, our faces, our breasts, our vital organs, our, our feet. He gave us nothing for the back. Why? God never intended for a Christian to show his back to the enemy. That's why. Never did. Keep on going. Keep on going. The just man falleth seven times. Yet riseth up again. Let us pray.
Father, bless my people. Some of them have an awful heavy load this morning. Some of them are going to cry themselves to sleep tonight. They did last night. And some have cried till the tears won't come anymore. Bless my people. May they hear these, this, this passage and these words ringing in their ears for days and weeks and months and years to come. The just man falleth seven times, yet riseth up again. Bless those in sin this morning. May they hear the words that just man falleth seven times, yet riseth up again. May those deceived.